Hi everyone, welcome to Introduction to Statistics, Math 227S, and I'm your instructor, Yin Yi Lam. You guys can call me Miss Lam or Professor Lam. And this is a 16-week course begins on February 8th, and the last day will be on June 1st. And this is a five-unit online class. We require you to spend at least 10 hours every week in Canvas to watch the video lecture, do the homework, take the quiz and midterm in this course. This is an online course that requires students to be self-motivated and pen the work ahead. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, this class will be conducted remotely and online with no required virtual schedule meetings. I'm looking forward to meet with you in Canvas to and explore all the fun in this statistic course. If you have any concern regarding to the material, you can contact me by leaving a message for Canvas or by school email. I'll be checking Canvas and email every day and get back to you within 24 hours, except Saturday and Sunday. Now, let's look at the syllabus. Okay, Spring 2021, Math 227S. Okay, this is my email address. You guys have any questions regarding to the material or the homework, feel free to email me. And our lectures will be online classroom. Office hour, I set it up on the Friday at 1 to 2 p.m. by appointment. But if you are not available at that time, feel free to email me. I will set another time to hold the office hour with you. Test book, elementary statistic. 13th edition by Trey Roller. You don't have to purchase the physical textbook because we'll be using the person online, the My Stat Lab homework, and they come with the E textbook. Okay, course description. This is what we're going to learn for this semester. And online course. This course is an online course. The online component of the course will be full canvas as our online classroom and all the materials and activities will be offered asynchronously, meaning the students can access them anytime. So we don't meet with each other at specific time. Instead, I will post all the notes, PowerPoint, video lecture in canvas so you guys can review it by yourself. How to log into the canvas? So if you are new students, please follow these instructions, how to log into your Canvas. But I guess most of you guys um, should have experience to using in Canvas. If you have a difficulty to log in because of the student ID or password, you may want to contact the ENET technical support. I can help you guys to find out your student ID or help you to reset the password. Okay, calculator. We need a calculator for this class. I would recommend using the TI-83 plus or TI-84 plus. All my notes will be based on these two calculators to give you guys the instruction how to use it. If you have other graphic calculator like the TI-89 plus, uh, feel free to use it, but I may not know how to do it, so you may want to Google it by yourself. We need the calculator during the lecture, uh, quiz, midterm, and finals. And if you want to buy the new one, please buy the TI-84+. Plus. My Stat Lab homework. We'll be using My Stat Lab as my online homework. And homework is really important of learning mathematics. And we will have a 12 chapters in the My Stat Lab. And students should complete the My Stat Lab online assignment full Canvas, meaning that you want to log into the Canvas, click on the homework link, and they will redirect you to the My Stat Lab. So when you register for it, you want to log into the Canvas also. I will show you guys the details how to log in to the My Stat Lab full Canvas. And you don't need the course ID to register my step lab, okay? Don't email me, ask me the course ID. I don't even know what, what is my course ID. You just need to log into the Canvas, click on the My Lab and Mastering in order to register. 
And the quiz also, we will have an online quiz from the MyStat Lab. Same idea, after you register the MyStat Lab, you could click on the canvas, uh, click on the quiz, and they will redirect you to the MyStat Lab. We do have a 12 quiz in the course. And for the quiz, you only have one attempt and they have the time limits. Okay, for the homework, um, they do have the due date, but you have unlimited attempt. So you can redo the homework until you get the 100% for it. Okay, Portorial. We'll be using the Portorial online exam, the Portorial service in this course. And Portorial is a software extension in Chrome, okay? Means you need using the Google Chrome browser. You can't use the Safari, Firefox, or Internet Explorer. You only can use the Google Chrome, okay? And you need to use your computer, your webcam, and also the microphone in order to take the exam. And you must have a strong and stable internet connection for Portorio to work well. And I will be assigned some extra credit so you can become familiar with using the Portorio. And if you want to know more details, feel free to click on this link. And after that, I will show you guys uh, how to use the Portorio to take the extra credit. Midterms. There are three midterms will be given for the course of the semester. And the midterm will be available on a specific day from 8 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. I usually set up the midterms on Tuesday. And you do have a four hours to complete the exam once it is start and it can only be attempt once. Please start the exam no later than 8 p.m. if you want to have a full four hours window. Within the four hours window, you have to download the exam, print the exam, finish the exam, and submit it as one PDF file in Canvas. And there is absolutely no makeup test will be offered. However, the lowest midterm score will be dropped. So make sure you do have three midterm. First midterm, chapter one to chapter three. Midterm two, chapter four to chapter six. Midterm three, chapter seven to chapter nine. Again, there's a no makeup midterm will be offered. So make sure you will be available on that day to take the midterm. Extra credit. Student will be given the opportunity to complete extra credit assignment. You only have a one attempt. Details are in Canvas. Okay, so I will assign two extra credit. The first one, you will get the extra credit for each chapter. And another one, I will assign the extra credit for you guys um, visit the math tutoring lab. For the math tutoring lab, extra credit, I'm going to give you guys details later on. Okay, late penalties. All online assignments have a due date in Canvas. Online assignment means like the MyStatLab homework and quiz. You can compete at any time. However, the total possible score will be discounted at a rate of 10% per day past the due date. Meaning that we do have the due date for the homework and the quiz. If you pass the due date, you still can work on it, but you will receive like 10% penalty per day. Okay. For example, if I work on assignment past the due date, the first day I will receive the 10% penalty. Meaning that if I get 100 points because I work one day past the due date, I will get only 90 points instead. If I work on my assignment two days past for the due date, I will get like 20% off. So if I get perfect, I only get 80 points instead of 100. An assignment like the extra credit and excerpt will not be accepted after the due date. For the midterms, I will give you guys a sample midterm. Make sure you guys work on it before you take the midterm. The sample midterm is really similar to your midterm. If you know how to do it, you will be get a good grade on your midterm. For the final, I set it up on the Tuesday, June 1st. And the final is going to be cumulative from chapter 1 to chapter 12. Okay. Great components. Homework assignment 10%, quiz 10%, 
The midterms, this is a 50%. You do have a free midterms, but you can drop the lowest one. So meaning that 25% for each midterm. Final, 30%. And you can see there are two extra credits. The first one, that will be in Canvas, that will be 3% for the total. That's another extra credit. That's for Math Lab. So if you visit the Math Lab, at a certain number of hours or a certain number of times, you're going to get this 2%. Okay, attendance. Attendance is not required for the online class. However, it is your responsibility to watch all the video lectures, finish the homework assignment, take quiz, and the midterm before the due date. If you are not active to the class, such as not finishing homework, not taking any quiz on the midterms, and missing all the deadlines, I may assume that you are no longer with this class. So I may drop you from this course. So let me know if something happened on you and you didn't like do the homework or take the quiz. Email me, okay? Okay, academic honesty policy. Don't cheat on my class. Feel free to find a study partner to work on the homework and extra credit or even watch the video lecture together. But for the quiz and the midterm, it should be close book and do it by yourself okay if i find it out you're cheating your class you're gonna get zero on that assignment and i will be referring you to the math department for the further action okay dropping the class students are responsible for dropping the class failure to do so may result in a grade of f in this class if you are no longer with this class Please drop it by yourself. Math Tutoring Center. Math Tutoring Center will offer the remote tutoring full Zoom for the spring 2021 semester. So this is the details about the math lab and the hours of operation from Monday to Thursday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Friday, Saturday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. You guys will receive extra credit when you guys visit the math tutoring lab. Okay, disability. If you guys need extra help, uh, please let me know. I will try my best to assist you. Okay, some helpful hints with regards to taking an online course. I think most of you guys should have experience for the online course due to the spring semester, right? But I want to remind you guys some important notes in here. With the course syllabus, this is so important. Make sure you understand all the course policy. When the quiz, homework, the due date. And be aware of the important due dates. Print out the syllabus with the schedule, highlight the due date for each week. If you have any questions about the course policy, contact me through Canvas or by email. Number two, pay attention to the deadlines and the assignment dates. This is big. When you don't check for the class update or get your assignment in on time, it is very easy to fall behind in the class. And don't be afraid to ask questions. There are no dumb questions in academic. Most of the time, your confusion is shared with your peers. So asking questions not only benefit yourself, but also your classmates. You can email me in Canvas. And each week, check your weekly overview schedule for the homework assignment. Give yourself plenty of time to turn in the assignment, participate in discussion, and take rest. Don't wait until last minute to turn in assignment, okay? I know I said the due date is 11, 15, 9 p.m., but please don't start working on your homework at 11 p.m., okay? One hour may not be enough for you, and sometimes you have some technical issue, maybe uh, you don't have an internet at that time, maybe my stat lab is under instruction, Okay, so don't wait until last minute to turn in your homework. And burning the midnight hours just level can rise. And last one, do not expect immediate response to the questions. Just because this is an online class does not mean that 
your instructor is always online and available okay i do have my family i have a two kids to take care i will try my best to reply your email within 24 hours but if that's a weekend you may want to wait until on monday okay important days day and evening class begin on february 8th on monday and then one more week we do have uh, the president's day the college is going to be closed and february 21st this is the last day to end or the last day to drop without the w so i highly recommend you guys log into the canvas watch the video lecture download the notes to see if you like this class if not you may want to drop this class without the w before the february 21st and then we do have the holiday spring break and then the job deadline number two this is the last day to drop online class with the w so that would be the main night and then we have a holiday final exam is going to be from june 1st to the june 7th okay so highlight the important days in here schedule I want you guys to print out the syllabus. For the last page, this is going to be your schedule. I want you to put this schedule on your desk or put it on your folder. Follow this schedule for this semester. I usually set it up on Tuesday. So for the first week, February 9, we're going to talk about the syllabus. And you will watch the video of the course information. And then you're going to see that's S1.1 to S1.3. This is talking about the session 1.1, session 1.2, and session 1.3. Means like when you log into the canvas, you're going to pin out the notes for the session 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3. Watch the video lecture in canvas. During the lecture, we do have some cast work in the notes. So I want you guys watch the video and do the cast work with me. And Sunday, that will be the online due date. For the first week, that's a nothing deal on Sunday. So this week, I only want you guys with the syllabus, watch the video lecture from session 1.1 to 1.3. And then next week, you're going to start watching the video lecture for the session 2.1, 2.2, and 2.3. And the first due date, that will be on next Sunday, okay? You're going to see the due date. This is the homework session 1.1, 1.2, 1 1.3. We do have a MySteadLab homework. And remember the homework, you have unlimited attempt, and that's a no time limit. But you have to finish the session 1.1 to 1.3 homework before the next Sunday at 11.59 p.m. And you will have the quiz one. I highly recommend you guys finish all the homework first. And then you're going to start working on your quiz one. For the quiz, you only have a one attempt. And you do have a time limit. Sometimes I set it to 60 minutes or 90 minutes or 120 minutes. It depends on which chapter. Again, the quiz one, once you start on it, you have to finish it and submit it. You only have a one attempt. You can't go back to do it again. And then you want to see the EC00 and the EC01. Remember what is the EC? This is the extra credit. 00 is talking about the extra credit of the course information. And you have the EC01. This is the extra credit for chapter 1. Okay. Feel free to watch the video lecture for the chapter 1. Finish the homework. And work on the extra credit first. At the end, you could take the quiz. All the due date is going to be on Sunday. So I want you guys to plan ahead. Don't wait until last minute to work on your homework and quiz. Especially the due date is going to be on Sunday at 11.59 p.m. You don't want to start working on your quiz at 11.30. Okay, you, you may only have a 30 minutes to finish your quiz. And also, remember, um, if you have any questions, try to reach me from Monday to Friday. If you start working on it on Saturday, if you have any questions, I may not have enough time to reply your email. So please, pen ahead. And every week, you do have the due date. 
Okay, so don't wait until next week. If you don't do anything for one week, for the next week, you may have like two chapters and like six sessions of the homework to work on it. Try to stick with this schedule. And I want you guys to highlight all this day. March 9, you're going to have a midterm 1, okay? Chapter 1 to chapter 3. April 13, midterm 2. Chapter 4 to chapter 6. And May 18, you do have a midterm 3. And... June 1st, you will have a final exam from chapter 1 to 12. Remember, that's a no makeup midterm. Make sure you will be available on that day to take the midterm online. And final also, that's a no makeup final. You have to take it on that day. Let me know if you have any questions regarding to the syllabus or the schedule. If you get stuck on some of the sessions, email me as soon as possible. Okay, now let's log into the Canvas. When you log into the Canvas, you're going to see that this is the course information. And you won't be able to click on any link in here, right? You have to first click on the syllabus. Put the syllabus one more time by yourself. Print it out again. Make sure you have the last page of the schedule. Follow the schedule. Okay, after you print it out, click on the home. Okay, you're gonna see that's a tick here. It means I wrote the syllabus already. Now, you should be able to click on this link. Welcome to Math227S Syllabus and Course Information. Click on it. You will see the video for your syllabus and course information. Click on the play. And after you watch the video, click on the right button here. Mark has done. Okay, you can see the done in here. So now I'm going to click on the home again. If you are new in Canvas, you may want to watch the introduction to Canvas. Okay. Click on the home again. Okay, now you're going to see the use iPhone has a scanner or use cam scanner has a scanner. I'm going to talk about these two guys later. Now you're going to see the EC00. This is the extra credit. I want you guys to participate this extra credit because the format is going to be similar to your midterm. Okay, one more time. I want all of you guys to participate the extra credit. The format is really similar to your midterm. And you're going to see that's remotely proctored. Okay, you're going to click on it. Okay, you're going to see the due date is going to be February 21st, next Sunday at 11.59 p.m. And this extra credit is going to be 5 points and you do have a 12 question. They do have the time limit, 90 minutes, 1 hour and 30 minutes. I give you guys two attempts because I want you guys to try on it. Make sure you guys understand the format for your midterm and final. Okay, I want you guys with it by yourself here and you need the student ID. Okay, you need your student ID or your California ID to verify your identity. And... If you are being asked for a quiz access code, you are probably not using the correct browser. Okay, they do have the requirement. You have to use the Google Chrome. Okay, you can use the Safari, uh, you can use the Firefox or Internet Explorer. If you don't have this browser, Google it and download the Google Chrome. You need the Google Chrome to access the quiz. If you guys have any questions, feel free to call this technical support number. Okay. So the first step, what you need to do, using the Google Chrome, and you're going to see the extension is required. So I'm going to click on here. Once you click on it, first, use Google Chrome. I did use the Google Chrome, right? So I'm done for the first part. Step two, you need to install the Chrome extension. So click here. Click on here. Make sure you allow the pop-up window. And then you're going to see this is add to comb. Okay, so click on it, add to comb. 
Okay, so I'm gonna add extension here. They say portfolio has been added to the comb. Okay, now I'm gonna go back here. So I'm done for the step one, step two, and step three. Okay, so I you have to finish this three step in order to take the quiz. Okay, now I'm gonna go back here. Okay, there are 12 questions, 11 questions are multiple choice, true or false or multiple answer questions. The last question is require file upload. You have a 90 minutes and one attempt for this quiz. Okay, again, I give you guys the two attempts and they're gonna take the highest one. So first, take the quiz. Okay, we will tell you when we start and stop recording. And only your exam admin can see what is recorded. Decision are made by your exam admin, not us, okay? So go down here, they say, before you can continue, please do the following. Multiple display screens detected. Please disable all but one monitor. Since I have uh, more than one monitor, so they don't let me to take the quiz. I have to remove one of the monitor. Okay, now I could start the exam. Now they're gonna chat on it. I do have the webcam and they are checking on the microphone. Okay, the next one, I need to share my entire screen. So I click on this screen, I'm gonna share this screen, share. So they check my internet connection, they check if I share my desktop, my screen here. Good, right? Okay, say Pottorio is sharing your screen. So this screen is gonna be shared. Okay, right? Okay, your exam is about to begin. Use restroom. If you want to go to restroom, go to restroom now. Get water. Okay, make sure you, are, you, you feel comfortable and get ready. Okay. If you don't see yourself in here, click on this link. I see myself in here. So I'll click on next. Okay, identification card. I need to see your photo ID, either student ID or color phone ID. Make sure you have your own picture and your name on it. So let me see. Okay, I have the... I don't want to show you guys my photo ID, so I will just give like something on it. For you guys, when you take um, your exam, I need to see your student ID or your California ID. Okay, make sure you see everything from here. Again, I'm not using my ID, so I just put on next. Okay, webcam image test. So I could begin the camera test. Smile. Okay. So I have a good picture here, and I accept. I could begin my test now. This is how you guys gonna take your midterm and final. Okay, let's say if I try to open an ad, another browser, and click on something else. Okay, let me search something. Oops, see? I'm not allowed to open another new tab or another window. If I try to open another browser, they lock it. Okay? Because when you guys taking the exam, it has to be closed book and closed note and you can't do anything search online. Okay, they restrict you only have a one window in here. Okay, question one. This extra credit is regarding for the course information. If you watch the video about the course information, you will your syllabus, you should be able to answer all these questions. I may work with another student on my exam. True or false? No, all right? It's always course book and do it by yourself. I may work with another students on my quiz. 
No, right? Okay, so you should be able to answer all those questions. Okay, here. When I turn in the paper assignment like exams in Canvas, how many PDF files I can upload? I didn't talk about this guy yet, but keep in mind, you only can upload one PDF file, okay? One PDF file. Okay, now I want you guys to look at the question three and question four here. You can see from these questions, they do have the square checkbox in here. But here, you have a circle checkbox. You guys know what's the difference between these two? For this one, for the square one, means you can get a multiple answer. Okay, you could choose more than one answer. But for the circle here, means you only have a one answer. Okay, if you put like, at the end of the cast, you can't choose other thing else. Okay, see the difference, right? Okay, answer all those questions. You're going to see for the last question, follow this instruction. Print it out the three pages document. Write down your name on the document. Combine the three pages document into one PDF file. Okay, you do have a three pages. I need you guys combine it into one PDF file and submit here. Okay, don't email me your exam. You have to submit it in here. And name the file format has first name, last name, and we are working on the extra credit 00. For example, my name is Yin Lam, Yin Yi Lam. So my first lamp, last lamp, and I'm working on extra credit 00, zero here. You can see that is a PDF file here, and that's a Microsoft Word document file in here. Um, they are exactly the same thing, but some students, they don't have a PDF, so I just attach one more format for you guys. Okay, so I could download it. Download it. Okay, I download this one, click on it. After you download it, you do have a few pages. Okay, one, two, three. I don't want you guys combine it into one page. Okay, I word it purposely. There are three pages. Use write down your name and use the pen to finish this worksheet. Once you are done, use a scanner to scan into PDF documents or use a cell phone to take a picture of the worksheet. So print it out, use the pen to work on this paper. After you're done, if you have a scanner at home, that's good, just scan it. Make sure you combine it into one PDF file. If you don't have the scanner at home, don't worry. You could use your cell phone to take a picture, okay? And under the upload, you can click choose a file to upload your worksheet. So answer this free question. Introduce yourself. Why? Are you taking this course? What is done here? What do you hope to become in the future? Number three, let us know one other interesting fact about yourself. Okay, again, we have three pages. Don't combine it into one pages. I want you guys print it out, write down your answer. Use your scanner or your cell phone to combine it to one PDF file. And after I'm done, make sure you rewrite this one. Okay, my first name, last name, and we are working on extra credit zero zero. Okay, we name it first name, last name, extra credit zero zero. Okay, I'm done for all those questions. Let's say I'm done everything here. Okay, and I'm going to choose a file. I upload it here. Find it out. My first name, last name, extra credit, open. Okay, your file has been successfully uploaded. Okay, make sure you see that. Now, I'm going to submit my quiz. And they say, you have six un and answer questions. Okay, I'm going to double check. Oh, I didn't do this couple questions. Okay. I don't know how to do it. I will let you guys do it. So I'm going to click on Submit Quiz. Okay. Okay, this is the current score. Okay, the last question, I need to grade it in order to give you guys the score. Okay, so don't worry if you didn't get it perfect. 
So this is the same format, just like the midterm one, midterm two, midterm three, and final. Every time when you take the exam, you need to add the extension. You need to show me your picture ID. You're going to take the picture. You need the webcam. You need the speaker. You need to share the desktop with me. And um, midterm questions going to be similar like the sample midterm. You have a couple questions like true or false, multiple choice, numerical questions. For the last question, is you are required to have a file upload. Okay, if you don't have the printer, that is fine. You could just write down your answer on a piece of the paper and then use your scanner or use your cell phone to combine it to one PDF file. Okay, once you're done for the extra credit here, you're gonna see that for the course information, I have a tick here. Means I will my syllabus. I watch the video of the syllabus and course information. And also, I'm done for my extra credit for the course information. And remember, for the last question of the extra credit, you need to do the file upload. And I say, um, if you have the scanner at home, that's good. You could just use the scanner, scan fee pages, document, and combine it into one PDF file. But if you don't have the scanner, you could use your iPhone has a scanner. You could click on this link. I teach you guys how to use your iPhone as a scanner. Okay, you could watch this video. And you may say, hey, I don't have an iPhone, so what can I do? So, if you have the smartphone, you could use the app called Cam Scanner. Okay, you could download it from the App Store. It is free. So, click on it. And I show you guys the video how to use the app the Cam Scanner as a scanner. So if you don't have the scanner at home and you want to use the smartphone as a scanner, feel free to watch these two videos. And once I'm done for the extra credit, I could double check on my grade. Click on the grade in here. You can see extra credit here. I do have the work in here. This is means instructor is working on the grades. Remember for the last questions, I need to grade it. Okay, it won't be automatically grade. So you don't have to grade right now. And for the grade, you could see the weight for the quiz 10%, homework 10%, exam. Exams is including midterm 1, midterm 2, midterm 3, and the final. So midterm is going to be 50%, final is going to be 30%. You do have a two extra credit. One extra credit is talking about like the EC in here and for each chapter. Okay, EC, course information, extra credit for chapter 1, extra credit for chapter 2, extra credit for chapter 3. So that will be 3% for total. And another extra credit, um, I'm still working on it. You guys need to visit the math lab. So it depends on how many number of times you go to the math lab or how many hours. Okay, I'm going to give you guys more details later on. So you could see the total is going to be 105%. And again, this extra credit is optional. But I highly recommend you guys to do it, you know, just get the fee points. And for the grade, you could try the what if grade in here. For example, let's say my chapter 1 quiz, I'm not, I didn't working on it yet, but I assume I get the 10 points, okay, out of 12 points. Or the homework, let's say I missed the homework. I got zero. I missed the first homework. So you can see the what if grade in here. Now my grade is only 41.67% means I'm failing. So what I need to do? I may need to work hard on my midterm one. Let's say my midterm I got 80 points out of 100. So you can see I'm passing right now. So this is called what if grade. So if you want to know how can you pass this class, you could just try and plug in the numbers in here. Okay, and then we're going to kick back to the home here. Once I'm done for the syllabus, the course information, and the extra credit, you meet the prerequisites. So you could keep going. This is called the study skills. You could take click on it. This is the 10 rules of good studying. Okay, feel free to read it. And then next one, 
10 rules of best studying. So you can see how many points you hit on here also. Okay, click on the home. You will see um, the introduction to statistics. This is for the chapter one. Okay, first, I want you guys to click on the notes. This is the notes session 1.1. Okay, print it out. Okay, print it out the notes. And you can see there's a, some password in here. You don't need to turn it in. Okay, this is the practice while you guys watching um, on the video lecture. Print it out. And then click on the video lecture for the session 1.1. Okay, those video I do it by myself. Click on it. This is the video lecture for the session 1.1. I need you guys have your notes ready. Okay, drop some notes on it and then do the classwork with me while you're watching the video lecture. Once you're done for the session 1.1, you could see there's a session 1.1 homework. But before you're working on the homework, you need to register my math lab. So go to here, my lab and mastery. Click on here. You're gonna see, you're gonna see open my lab and mastery. Click on it. Make sure you allow the pop up window. And this is uh, the license agreement with it. And I'm gonna accept. If you don't have the person account, feel free to create a new one. But when you create it, make sure you put your official name. Okay, don't put your nickname or initial on it. And write down your password, your username, and also your email address. If you already have the person account, you could just log in from here. Okay, you do have a free option. Either you purchase the physical textbook and they come with the access code. I don't really recommend this one because I know it's really expensive when you get the textbook come with the access code. Or you could buy from this one. Okay, use the credit card or PayPal. And this is for the lifetime, $114. And they come with the e textbook. Okay, or the option free, you could feel free to use this one. This is the student access is only good for 18 weeks. We do have a 16 weeks for a semester, so this one should be good enough. It's going to be $79.99. Or you may think about it, hey, I don't know if this class is good for me. I'm not sure if I like those format. So you could try to get the temporary access without payment for 14 days. Okay, This is good for two weeks only. So you could try on it. Use the temporary access, make sure you like this class, and then you could pay for it. Okay, now I'm gonna click on temporary access. So make sure this is temporary access is for the map 227S for this session number. So I'm gonna click on yes. And they will redirect you to the my stat lab. So this is my course, my lamb. Go to my course. So you can see we do have a e test. If you guys want to read the test book, feel free to do so. Click on the e test. Will the e test? Okay, I agree to the terms of use. So this is gonna be your test book in here. Okay, click on here, click on the menu. I could whip my chapter one, session 1.1. Okay, you could use the tools from here. You could use two pages instead of the single page. You could close this one. Okay. And you could search the content here. Wait, the next page. 
feel free to read the textbook from here. And also, I could click on the chapter contents. I have the chapter 1, that's a some homework, quiz, a study pen. Okay, you could watch this video also. Okay, now after I register my stat lab, I could go back to my canvas. Click on the home again. You could click on the session 1.1 homework. Okay, you could see the due date and total points here. I didn't assign a lot of the questions for each session of the homework. So you have unlimited attempts per questions. After the due date, you still can work on it, but you do have a 10% late penalty. And that's a due date here also. So you could click on the questions from here. Okay, with your questions uh, and, and take the advantage of the question help in here. Click on here, you could read the textbook or ask my instructor. And some questions, they could show you an example or teach you how to do it. Let's go back to well, session 1.2 homework. Okay, for example, session 1.2 homework, I could click on the question how. You could see, help me solve this. Or will an example okay if you get stuck on the homework take advantage for this question help okay you could will an example they're gonna show you a similar example and teach you do it like step by step okay or say help me to solve this okay they're gonna ask you the question teach you step by step to finish the homework Okay, so pin out the notes, watch the video lecture, finish the homework. Okay, session 1.1 to 1.3. And after you're done, you could work on the extra credit. You're going to see the extra credit is going to be remotely. So you're going to add the extension, click on it. Since for the extra credit, the course information are at the extension for the Google Chrome already. So I don't have to do it again. So I would just take the quiz, show my student ID, and take the picture, share the screen, and then you could work on the extra credit. And again, I give you guys two attempts. I just want you guys practice the format that will be similar to the midterms and final. So for this week, I need you guys watch the video of the course information, do the extra credit for the course information, Print out all those notes, watch the video lecture. If you have time, work on the homework also. The chapter 1 homework that will be due on next Sunday before 11.59 p.m. And then next week, you guys gonna work on the chapter 2 here. Okay? So chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3. And then you're gonna see this is the formula for the midterm 1. Click on it. The midterm that will be code spoke and code notes, but you could use this formula okay for your midterm. And also you have the sample midterm in here. I highly recommend you guys after you guys study for chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, print out the sample midterm just try to do it on your own coast book coast notes sample midterm is really similar to your midterm if you know how to do this you should be get a good grade on the midterm one and make sure you follow the instruction like for the question five here one to two decimal space make sure you want two decimal space if necessary okay with the question carefully okay this is the sample midterm one I will post the solution later on. And then you're going to see that's a ELAB tutoring. Click on it. Choose the math lab here. 
they will have the hours of operation and you could make a one-on-one -on -one tutoring appointment if you guys get stuck in here. Okay, you could also email me or send a message through the canvas. Let me know if you have any questions regarding for this course. One more time, stick to my schedule. Don't wait until last minute and make sure you guys download the notes, watch the video lecture, finish the homework every week. If you didn't do anything for one week, remember the next week you will have like six sessions to take care on it. Okay, you have a six sessions of homework, two quizzes, two extra credit. If you didn't do anything for two weeks, means like the third week you will have a free chapters, nine session of the homework. Okay, I believe we will have a wonderful semester.